most time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live on a Thursday, September 14th Got ourselves a little short squeeze on our hands, my friends. A little short squeezy. Meaning, SPX is up over half percent from the open. Uh, looks like somebody's trying to share their video. I'm going to take that away. <laughs> um. Let's see. Oh, you're right. I forgot we gapped up. My bad. Got everybody all excited. I was all I was all ready to do my short squeeze. I wasn't even paying attention from uh, from the open. I was thinking from uh, yesterday's close. So yeah, not quite there. 0.46. So I'll be doing my standard one to one. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some longs. Feels like a short squeeze day, though, doesn't it? I did do some discretionary, sold some discretionary puts a little bit ago. I already got out of half of those at 50%. But <clears throat> just a little discretionary trade. Also took a discretionary Rick, thanks to Vegas Michelle and Theta Junkie, that hit 30%. So that's been nice. VIX is down another 4% today, under 13. Yuck. Yucky. So if you look at our premiums for tranche one, we've got four bucks on the calls and about 250 on the puts. If we do the 4505 straddle. Give it a couple minutes before I enter. I got you, Uga. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my friend. Uh, Kelvin, she posted it in this channel or Zero DT. I'm sure if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see it. It's just a specific to Thursday. Uh Data Junkie posted one as well, slightly different. I just did my standard standard strikes. I think any any Rick you would have done. And actually, it was done after we already had a little bit of a down move, so that even helped even more on that push higher. It's a little bit later entry, like 9.45, 9.55. So my 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 uh, my Rick has a filter of VIX under fourteen. I don't take it, so I jumped on those of uh, Vegas Michelle and Data Junkie. All right, so looks like the forty five oh five straddle or the ooh, yeah forty five oh five is the closest. Try 
Notch one straddle. Six thirty. Filled at six thirty. Those are tranche two type premiums. So I added a new NDX calendar today. It's pretty much at the money when I put it on. It's pushed up a little higher. I'll add another calendar if it were to get up to the upper break even. If not, I'll uh, close it out at 10 to 20% profit. Opted to go with that one today as opposed to a new TGIF. I mentioned a couple weeks ago in my weekly update that these single calendars have just been have been doing really well. TGIFs have not been doing well. So I'll still continue to trade TGIFs, but I just made an emphasis that I'm going to trade more of these. So I opted, opted to enter this one today. Turn it into a double if it, uh, if it needs to be turned into a double. So for my little uh, discretionary just sell puts, got out of, I did four, got out of two of the four, 50%. I've got the uh, remaining to close at 50 cents, currently trading a little over two bucks. <clears throat> so if we get another little pop-up, those may hit. Other than that, my friends, it's a Thursday, you know, didn't do any grocery shopping, but trade wise, not a whole lot going on. Actually, uh, MES short strangle. When did we put that on? We may be able to take that one off early for 30%. Let's see. Twenty five, forty eight, fifty. Oh, that's the one we put on nine five, forty eight, fifty, forty one, twenty five. Nine five, yeah. Let's just go ahead and take that one off for a quick thirty percent. So that's the for those following along. That's the one with seventy seven DTE. Been in that thing for ten days, thirty percent. It's gonna get filled at twenty seven.
about 27, 25. No, I want to fill there either. Give it a minute. Yeah, CL, we may need to get close to needing to roll up our puts, but it's still fairly centered here. Let's see, we got in our puts at 104. Currently trading at 50. Yeah, so not quite a 50%. So I'm just going to hold that one. About twenty seven fifty. There we go. Still holding the one with 92 DTE. All right, just posted that in the option selling trades. And get another little push up, 45.10. New highs on the day in SPX. So we're getting close to 0.5%. We're at 048 I only do the short squeeze play on tranche one, so I'll still be doing one to one on my tranche two and three. My puts are now trading for a little over a buck. Apparently the market likes the PPI report this morning. It already was up a little bit and then it's just been pushing higher and higher all day. Very little pullbacks. You did a two to one, Elliot. Uh, I it's been a while since I looked at quad witching, but um, from what I remember, yeah, it was not. It was a, a non-event. No, um, definitely did not deter me from trading power hour.
Yep. Tomorrow is the day. But, you know, keep in mind ever since they, you know, monthly expiration used to be a big deal, but it's just not anymore. You got options that expire every day. Hang on, guys. I got to take this quick call. I'm going to put it on mute. All right. Sorry about that. Um, all right. SPX still pushing. About eight minutes until tranche two. So the move is at 0.53% from the open now. So for those doing the uh, short squeeze variation for tranche two, that would uh, set up as of now. My stop for tranche one is at 1030 and my spread's trading at 890. Thank you, Gary. Nine. Have you found, have you done much testing with those? S and P up almost 1%. NASDAQ's up 1%. Russell's up one and a half percent. Dow up 1.1%. So is that, that's, that's for Thursday, right? So that'd be like today, day before. Gotcha. Hmm. 
I'm getting a little pause. My tranche one's back down to about 780. Got about five minutes till tranche two. Go ahead and buy some longs for tranche two. Yeah, if we hold here, it looks like it'll be the 4510 straddle for tranche two. My puts are down to 85 cents. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to buy them back for 50. <clears throat> No discount. That was a, a discretionary. Just I just sold some puts earlier. Yeah, a little, little discretionary JSP. Looking like the 4510 straddle for tranche two. <clears throat> Give it about 30 more seconds. Tranche two forty five ten straddle. Trying to get filled at five twenty. Filled at five twenty. All right, got the 4505s, now the 4510s. Bigger size on the 4510s.
No power hour for Wooga, no power hour for Ryan P. Only tranche three for Kelvin. You guys are so picky these days. Picky, picky, picky. I'm just kidding. Being selective is not a bad thing. <clears throat> Thursday's making a comeback. You guys are all going to change your mind about Thursdays. You're going to start hating Wednesdays and loving Thursdays. Just, just watch. It's Elliot when that, when power hour gets near. I need my power hour. I need my hit. All right, getting a tiny little pullback. Kind of want to sell some more puts here. Dick K, what's the VWAP telling you? Can I sell puts here? <laughs> we got to be at a Fibonacci retracement right now. Just got, we got to be. I'm selling some more puts, just a little discretionary JSP.
You just got short ES, Dick K? See, that's the forty five oh five. Is that a real trade decay or are you just trying to fade me? All right, a few minutes till tranche three. Find some longs for tranche three. Looks like we're probably going to get a little straddle for tranche three as well. So back in June, VIX hit 12.73. We are at 13 flat right now. Got down to 12.93 today. Yuck. Thursdays are for bingo, huh? See, for me, for my real stats, well, let's go back to April because that's, that's when I really started trading power hour the way I am now.
Yeah, so here's my real trades. So this is tranche one, tranche two, tranche three. I used to classify them just as all one power hour before July. Day of week. So Monday is slightly red. Actually, you know what? Well, the longs settle the next day. So this is, so yeah, Thursday would be just slightly green. Up about 2,800 bucks since April. Friday, which settled on Saturday, is my best day. I think Monday is kind of a, I think that's kind of a nothing because they settle on Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, or no, Monday, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are about the same. Thursday, yeah, Thursday is the definitely the, the worst since April. Friday's the best. And I'm yapping and forgot about tranche three. All right. Looks like the 4510, Fill it two fifty. I, I got forty five ten, forty five oh five. We'll pull back. Back down to forty five oh six. Hanging around that expected move from the beginning of the day. Ooh, Vikings Eagles. Who do you got, Crane? All right, so tranche one I got in at six thirty. So 380 is what I'm looking for in tranche one to reduce my stop. Tranche two, I got in at 520. So call it 310. So tranche one is currently trading at 450. I need 380. Tranche two is currently trading at 640. I need 310.
Gonna need a little bounce. Huge slippage on yesterday's quiet lunch. I don't know. It's a long time ago. Asking me what I did yesterday, that's... You're asking a lot, Kylio. You are asking a lot. Yeah, I just, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing big slippage. I usually remember that if I did, but I, I may not have, may not have noticed either. Is that a that was a ratio, I assume. Was it a three, two, four, three? Yeah, I've had that happen as well. No, we're still moving down here. Tranche two is close to getting stopped. It stops at 820, spreads at 790. So if we don't bounce here, tranche two will get stopped. Mine's fixed and still hanging on by a thread, but I'm going to need a bounce here. A little bounce, staying alive for the moment. Tranche one is close to getting my stop reduced. I'm looking for 380. In which case I would reduce my stop to 680. If we get a little more bounce, should hit it. It's 
down to 415, 420. Four ten, four oh five, Four dollars, about twenty more cents. to park here at 44, 45.05 for another minute. Three ninety five. Nice dick, eh? A little scalpy scalp. Still have around four bucks. I need I need to see three eighty to reduce my stop. Oh, interesting Trader AL. I've never looked at it like that. 380, there it is. Reducing my stop on tranche one to 680. On top of the mountain, I use a fixed stop for all my tranches. And then for tranche one and two, I ratchet it down at 40% which is what I just did for tranche one for tranche two. It's currently trading at 580. I need 380 on that one. So I'm going to need a bounce back up towards 4510 for that one to come down. And when I, when I ratchet it down, it stays fixed too. It doesn't start trailing at that point, if that was your question.
20 minutes till the bell. I'm looking for more like a 4508 pin. That's what my, that's what my indications are saying. Tranche two down to four sixty. I'm looking for three eighty. Need to step away for just a minute. Up to forty five oh six.
Still around forty five oh five. Eleven minutes till the bell. Seven million to the sell side is the early indication for market on close and balance, which is nothing. Financial juice is what I'm looking at. I just have the free version. Financial juice. Financialjuice.com. All right, getting a little tiny bounce here. Yeah, I haven't decided if it's useful at all or not, but it's been kind of watching it. We're getting a little bounce. How would I explain it? I'm not sure what you mean. I think it just looked like the market just liked what happened with the uh, PPI number, I guess. Or just a, uh, just a grind up day. I think the media always wants a reason, but I don't think that there's always a reason, you know, it's just the market being the market.
I mean, I, you know, you notice that a, a lot after, you know, we had CPI, then PPI, a lot of times after, after the news is out that people have been waiting for, you just kind of get a drift higher, you know, all the uncertainties away for the short term. That's the way I look at it. Ken's trying to get me to bite on the fib comment. I'm not biting. All right, two minutes till I exit. Tranche three. I'm going to put it in an order of 80 cents. If we get a bounce. Tranche two. I'm going to put in four bucks for now. Come back to that. Tranche one, which is sitting at strike. I'll try to get out of that one first. Let's do 250. Uh, get a little down move. Build at 255 on tranche one. So that one was a nice winner. Tranche two. Ah. Oh, don't run away from me. Tranche three added a buck seventy five. Tranche two is going to be a loser. Tranche two added six sixty. So tranche one in at 630 out at 255. Nice winner there. Tranche two in at 520 out at 660. So about a buck 40 loser on tranche two. And then tranche three in at 250 out at a buck 75. So winner on that one. So net net small winner. Take it. I'll take it for a Thursday. Uh, all right, my friends, tomorrow's Friday. No live stream in the morning, but we'll be back for power hour tomorrow. All right, everybody have a good evening. Take care. Chat with you soon.